Hi, my name is Adam Whitmer. I'm the founder and host here at ComplianceCohort.com. This compliance clip is going to answer the question, what is a protected class? Now, when we're talking about protected classes, we of course are talking about fair lending. So in order to understand what a protected class is, we need to understand the laws that apply to fair lending. And in banking, there's two main laws that apply to fair lending. These are the Fair Housing Act, or FHA, and the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, or ECOA. So each of these laws actually defines a protected class a little bit differently. So let's take a look at each of these. First of all, the Fair Housing Act dates back to the late 1960s and covers fair housing. So loans related to a dwelling and housing for individuals. Now, under the Fair Housing Act, they defined a protected class as a number of things. And this includes race or color, national origin, religion, sex, familiar status, which includes children under 18 living at home, and handicap. So under the Fair Housing Act, these are the protected classes that we are concerned about from a fair lending perspective. Now, I will tell you, when we get to the ECOA slide and the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, which relates to Regulation B, in just a minute, some of these are redundant. So we'll take a look at those in just a second. But first, let's talk about ECOA. ECOA was passed in the early 1970s, and this prohibits discrimination on all aspects of a credit transaction and includes all types of credit, not just home loans like the Fair Housing Act, but also commercial and business purpose loans. And of course, ECOA is implemented by subpart A of Regulation B. So Regulation B drives a lot of this and includes a list of protected classes. Now, the protected classes under ECOA are a little bit different, but there is some overlap. So a protected class under ECOA includes race or color, religion, national origin, and sex. So those are the same things that we started out the Fair Housing Act list with, but ECOA has a couple of different ones. And in fact, they do not include handicap, just like uh, the Fair Housing Act did. The additional items under ECOA include marital status, age, at least the capacity to a contract, and then receipt of income from any public assistance program, and a good faith exercise of rights under the Consumer Credit Protection Act. So all of these are protected classes under ECOA. And you can see the bold items are those that are separate under ECOA, where the Fair Housing Act had a couple of different ones that did not apply to ECOA. So that answers our question of what is a protected class because we have a different protected class list for the Fair Housing Act as we do for ECOA. Now, that's it. That's all I have for this compliance clip. If you'd like to take a deep dive into fair lending, we do have additional resources for you. Uh, if you've never been to our site before, we do have a free membership, a basic membership that's absolutely free that you can sign up at compliancecohort.com. And we have hundreds of articles and videos and other resources and training videos just like this. We do giveaways and have a weekly newsletter. But if you're looking for a deep dive on fair lending, you can go to our store at compliancecohort.com store. We've got several fair lending programs, including a class just on disparate impact. We've got a fair lending boot camp that runs an entire day. And we've also got a fair lending for directors and a fair lending for lenders program. So if you'd like to take a deep dive into fair lending, we've got additional resources for you in our store at compliancecohort.com slash store. Again, that's all I have for you for today. So until next time, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much.